Good morning, everyone. First of all, thanks for providing me this opportunity to present my research study on environmental resource and surrounding based dynamic schedule model for the road construction industry in New Zealand. My name is Sumit Kumar, and I concluded this study under supervision of Dr. Mahesh Babu Pushottam. I would like to discuss the presentation outline. This presentation is divided into six sections. Section one is to cover the research background with problem statement. Section two is to cover the literature review on scheduling techniques. Section three to cover the research methodology framework. Section four is based on the discussion on the findings around the dynamic model. Section five to cover the research conclusion. And the last section is to cover the research limitation and future work scope. According to Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment, the road construction industry is in New Zealand is fifth largest sector employing more than 15% of total workforce. And that roading network made of approximately 63,000 km of sealed road and 32,000 km of unsealed road, estimated value to be 79.2 billion New Zealand dollar. Road construction industry is an important part of NZ economy, but still the research done to improve the roading project performance is limited. For New Zealand, road, New Zealand Transport Authority, project delays are one of the biggest problems. Project delays occur on almost every single roading project. Some of the recent project failures are Transmission Gully, Beta Road, Capiti Expressway. Result of these delays, only half of the expected delivery rate was achieved in last year. The effect of road construction delay is not limited to the client and contractor itself, but eventually has a negative impact on the national economy. In recent budget announcement, government has decided to invest $5.3 billion into roading network, which means high demand in road construction projects. If the projects are well managed, the road construction industry can provide a positive result to NZ economy. Literature review, it has been identified that project schedule works on three main constraints, time, scope, and cost. To achieve that, there are a number of traditional scheduling techniques are available, such as critical path method and prog program evaluation and review technique. But all of the project scheduling techniques are based on two main assumptions, availability of complete schedule and static project environment. But in road construction project, activities are always subjected to dynamic, dynamic environment. Due to the gap created between scheduling techniques and the project environment, the industry always faces problem of project behind schedule, over budget, and poor quality. Traditional techniques are not practical to apply in roading project, where project planner needs better tool to tackle real-time events. None of the present and past project scheduling techniques accommodate these real-time events. This research is focused on providing the extra tool for planner to accommodate the dy dynamic nature of roading projects. The aim of this research was to focus on identifying the factor that has negative influence on road construction project performance. During the course of this research, main factors were identified based on the environmental resource and surrounding of the roading projects. These factors can have a link to internal functions of the business, for example, equipment breakdown, which could which could happen due to lack of maintenance and factors such as weather, which is an external factor. For example, if it is raining on the day of sailing, the task plan for the day cannot be completed. In result, both factors are contributing to project delay. Once the factors are identified, the next task was to establish the link between each factor to develop a dynamic model to understand the influence of each factor and how can we mitigate these uh, delays. Figure 2 presents the research methodology to seek the answer of research question. The research methodology was divided into five stages. I started this to find out what is possible to know about scheduling techniques and road project delays, and how can I learn about it. Once the research aim was identified, next stage was to establish the quality criteria based on validity and reliability. For the data collection, research adopted mixed research approach where qualitative method based on systematic literature review and semi-structured interview for examining the factor that influence road project delay and quantitative method was used to analyze the data. After the data collection, third stage was to analyze the collected data. To achieve that, four different techniques were used. Descriptive analysis, Likert scale, correlation analysis, and thematic analysis. Last test of this research was to develop a dynamic model based on the data analysis.
one of the method used for data collection is based on systematic literature review during systematic literature review approximately 500 international articles were reviewed but only 65 articles were selected based on the literature quality criteria figure 3 presents the publication trend on the research topic ranging from 2002 to 2020 it was noticed that the researchers are more inclined toward the research topic in current decade comparing to the previous decade Based on the systematic literature review, eight common themes were identified such as design error, labor shortage, equipment shortage, events, weather, geotechnical error, breakdown, and material shortage as shown in figure 4. 89% article confirmed design error, 88% article confirmed labor shortage, 85% confirmed material shortage, 82% confirmed equipment shortage, 75% articles confirmed weather as a factor there are other factors confirmed by smaller number of particle such as event breakdowns and geotechnical errors based on the systematic literature review the semi-structure interview were organized with three local field experts the contractor interviewed during this study had minimum 10 to 15 years of work experience in the new zealand road construction industry figure 5 represents the contractor's point of view on the data identified during the systematic literature review these the uh, these factors further divided into three major categories based on uh, based on their characteristics factors such as material equipment labor and are identified to be a critical resources whereas design error breakdown geotechnical data identified as critical factors whether pandemic natural disaster and event are fall under critical time characteristics semi structure interview helped us to understand the relevance of these factors to the New Zealand roading industry. Likert scale was used to understand the impact of each identified factor on each identified factor and all the factors were scored on the scale of high, medium and low impact. Based on the data collection, a dynamic model was developed as presented in figure 7. The model consists of 10 factors identified during the interview with field experts. Each factor is linked to the critical characteristics of the roading project, such as critical factor, critical resources, and critical time. All factors has negative influence on project schedule, but some factors, such as weather, pandemic, event, labor shortage, design error, can also contribute positively to the other factors. For example, equipment breakdowns can also positively influence the equipment shortage. Weather can contribute to the breakdowns. Design er errors can aid to the material availability and skill labor shortage. All these factors will eventually impact the project schedule. In the end, the fact all these factors need to be considered during the initial project schedule by the planner and a time buffer need to be allocated to handle these uncertainties during the execution stage of the project. This study concluded that weather, pandemic, material, geotechnical, and disaster factor are highly influencing factors, while the other factors such as equipment shortage, breakdown, material, design error, labor, and event had a mixed response from the interviewers responded. These factors need to be further explored to quantify the impact of each factor on the project performance. The theme developed in this research can be divided into specific groups and explored individually. During interview, it was noted that these factors can cause 20 to 40 percent time overrun in the projects and are a source of conflict between clients and contractor. Project delays in road industry contribute due to two to three factor influencing the project on same time. For example, community event can also impact the labor availability and the equipment shortage. Pandemic factor in this study is reviewed first time and can be explored further. Research limitation. This study was conducted on Taranaki region only, and the factors was based on the environmental resource and surroundings. Only small sample size was collected based on the three main contractors in Taranaki region, and does not represent the whole New Zealand, as the finding may not be reliable beyond the scope of data use. The study does not include client's perspective on project performance. Further research on this uh, study is recommended to ensure the view of others individual is included in the in the future work. The future work, another similar study can be conducted for the construction project such as commercial building, water, wastewater. The another study to evaluate the impact of each factor on the project schedule. For the study to quantify each factor identifying the identified in the study, 
In this study, pandemic as a factor discussed first time, this factor can be explored further to understand the impact it had on the projectile. Thank you for listening me. Happy to take questions. My email address is kyogy9403 at autuni.ac.nz.